everyone, Gabriella here from The Sewing Studio, and welcome back to another Cool Tools Day. Today, I'm going to show you this amazing product from Odif called Odicoat. I've seen a few people get it recently, and that made me curious, so I wanted to try it out and share my experience with you. Odicoat is a gel coating that you can use as an adhesive, kind of like a Mod Podge or gel medium, or to coat your fabric to make it waterproof. I used Odicoat to coat the pieces of this Bob Ross themed backpack that I made so that the fabric would be protected and waterproof. Cool, right? You apply it to the fabric with this little card that comes with each jar. It's demo time. First, you want to have something protecting your table or workspace when you are coating your fabric. I use clear vinyl to protect my table, but you can use painter's plastic, a drop cloth, or anything you don't mind messing up. Just be sure it's not too thin if it's fabric because the gel coating could seep through to your table. Next, I laid all of my pieces out flat with no overlaps. Then all you have to do is put a little blob on the piece you are going to work on and swipe your card over it and all around the piece to coat it evenly. I went in straight lines to avoid noticeable streaks. By applying the OD coat with a card, you are scraping the coating onto the fabric super evenly. Also, don't feel like you need to make the coat any thicker than it comes out because you have the option of letting it dry and applying another coat or two. You can also wear some plastic gloves if you don't want the coating on your hands. I personally don't mind so much about getting messy, so I didn't wear gloves and it washed off pretty easily with some hot water and soap. One coat of Odie Coat will protect your fabric and make it water repellent. Two coats will give you a coated canvas look, and three coats makes your fabric waterproof and gives you a waxed canvas look. After every coat, you have to let your fabric dry before you apply the next one, and I wouldn't leave your fabric to dry laying on the table where you applied the Odie Coat, because some of the coating will have seeped through or gone over the side, and you will end up with your fabric glued to whatever you placed over your workspace. When I was finished coating my pieces, I peeled them off of my workspace and hung them up to dry. When you do this, make sure they aren't touching each other because once again, they will glue together. I left my pieces to dry overnight before I applied the next coat. Once you are satisfied with the way your fabric looks, you have to use an iron with no steam and some freezer paper or a Teflon sheet to cure the coating into your fabric. Also something to keep in mind is the more coats you apply, the shinier your fabric looks in the end. I applied three coats to my pieces because I wanted my backpack to be completely waterproof. I'm so happy with the way this backpack turned out and I can wear it rain or shine. Everything I use to make this backpack is available in store or online. Please like, share, or subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see what project you come up with using Odie Coat. See you next Tuesday.